welcome back. Basically, what I wanted to cover with you is if you live in a state that requires a front plate, and just to show you a couple options. Now, I have a plate here. This is no longer valid, so there again, don't mind the numbers. Um, this is an S4 2016. As you can see, the plate cover is already there. So all I would have to do is just take that, screw it on, and I'm ready to go. Now, what happens if your vehicle actually came and did not come with a front plate such as the S4 here? You have a couple options you've probably seen online and also YouTube. You can take your plate, and they actually make one, which is a socket. You can remove the cap here, screw into the area, the socket that comes with the little tag bracket, screw it in there, and then there's a bracket that affixes right into that area on top of that, and you just screw it in the type of Well, the tag would be here, but if you could come over, Cal, I'm just gonna show you how far this actually hangs off of your car. It's gonna hang off to probably about this point. And of course, you would have to take that on and off when you're actually going through a car wash. So there's gonna be about that much space left between the tag itself and the car. Now, another option, which I absolutely love, it's very inexpensive, you can actually do your ties your plastic ties, you can take those and you can affix it to the grill, the grill area. You're gonna affix it to the grill, you get one of the plates here that come with it, and the ties actually come right out, they buckle onto the grill, and then you can just take that and set it on the front. Now with that, of course, during a rest, they actually use those to make a rest, rather than using handcuffs. They're pretty hard to get out of, and actually pretty hard to break unless you just cut them off. But it affixes right to the front of your vehicle. Looks very nice, looks exactly like this pretty much, except it's just zip ties. Now, what we actually have here, gonna retake, gonna take and actually remove the item here just to show you what yours is gonna look like. I know you may have actually spoke with someone and they told you just to affix it and screw it right onto the front. That's exactly what is actually going on here. So I've already got the other three unscrewed. And let's just go through. So if I take that off, you could give me a close up here. You can actually see where they just screwed it right into the grill. There is your, here's your screws here. And just screwed right into the grill. So when it actually comes out, it's affixed just like the first shot you actually saw. And the tag just goes right on the front. So just a couple simple quick fixes for anyone that actually lives in a state that requires a tag. Now when you're actually buying a vehicle and actually sending it because they do a lot of dealer trades to other states, the same thing goes on there to where the dealer will actually do this. So if you go to your service department and they actually tell you you need to change out your whole change out your whole grill, that's exactly the reason why I wanted to send just a short video to actually show a simple process. So if you are living in a state that requires a tag, you can pretty much do it yourself. Thank you. And if you have any questions, give me a call. 704-965-2259. Hey mom.